So I've been having this issue with my ring cameras. They just end up disconnecting and then no matter how many times I reboot them, they just will not reconnect unless I do a factory reset, reconnect it to the account and then boom, a week later, I'm in this frustrating loop and it sucks because this is my parents' house. I'm like two states away, three actually, sorry. Um, but yeah, this is, this is a problem with the Unify access points, particularly if you have two of them. You're also wondering, well, wait, Unify has cameras too. Okay, but the Ring doorbell is nicer. It's been there longer, more reliable. And uh, Ring has a spotlight, so there's there's that. But uh, yeah, it really affects the 2.4 gigahertz. Um, I mean, there's not really many Ring cameras that support 5 gigahertz. I just have the doorbell, which I haven't had an issue. But I guess it's maybe because of, you know, 5 gigahertz is less range, so you won't detect more than uh, one access point. Um, or it's just, I don't know. But this is really a problem with Ring and they don't really want to get out their ass and fix it. So this is a quick fix. It's a little bit tedious, but you have to set up a separate network on each of these uh, access points. But don't worry, it's not going to complicate things. Um, I'm going to show you guys what I did here. Uh, you do need to set these up with a controller, which is like a little piece of software that just these things talk to. But you can just set up in a laptop and just, you know, not have it running all the time. So it just... You just set it up when you need to, but it, the, the controller software doesn't need to be running all the time. Um, yeah, so basically I have these four networks here. Originally I have these two, the, the Firefly is a slower. So basically you just go here, you just, uh, this is set to only be on 2.4 gigahertz. It's right here, the Stingray Fios. So that, that's kind of how I separate my devices. So for any AP, this is for all APs. Uh, this is going to just be a way to separate the bands, the Wi-Fi bands. So you've got the garage AP and living AP. So what I did for this, I clicked on, uh, you know, when I created this, you uh, you do a couple extra steps. I set it to 2.4 gigahertz because that's really all I need to worry about. And then here, you're going to create a new AP group. And here's where you check mark the access points you want this uh, Wi-Fi network to only appear to and you type a name for it. So obviously, you know uh, Back here garage AP is only going to tag the garage access point um, As such and then you know the same thing for the uh, other access point. So this way it will uh, You know, it's forcing the ring cameras to only connect to the nearest access point. It's a manual step, but it's it'll do until Ring cares enough to do something about it. So here's where one of the access points are. I've got a Ring camera down below the garage there. The power cord is ran down through the fascia on the side. I'm gonna show you what the second access point is. But yeah, I mean, they're, they're relatively close, which causes them to be like, oh, which one do I connect to? Here is the access point, and the second camera is out there.